Game, game six, Mike, what are the expectations of this group going into Buffalo here tonight that you'd want to see? Well, it, I mean, it's always the same. We want to get better. And so I thought last game we didn't have much energy. We still did lots of things right, but I didn't think we had much pop in us. Uh, we're too light of a team in the offensive zone, so we're one and done too much for me. We've got to be heavier in the offensive zone. And we just got to keep working on what we're doing, our structure. And once we get our structure, our skill will come out. And uh, to me, we haven't seen enough of that. Mike, you have one, le one week left here in training camp. You've been able to see a lot of the blue line now. What specifically do you like about the Gardner-Riley uh, ten? And what do you see in them? Yeah, I haven't said I like them. Uh, that's not what I said at all. They're just playing together. Uh, I've played uh, Gardner away from Riley. Uh, most of camp on purpose just because I don't want Jake taking a back seat to him. I want him being a player. And so sometimes when you play with a really good player, you end up just watching him play. I want him to play because he's a good player too. So uh, all we're trying to do is figure out what's best. Over these next three games, we'll have a better hand. Not a lot of starts left for a number one goalie. How do you see that evolving next well, three starts? Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to split them tonight, and they get one each after that. But I'm going to split them tonight. When you see a player like Riley, I mean, he's only entering his third season. Right. But what do you see as the future for him? And, and I'm well, I read uh, someone sent me something yesterday, and I, I never thought much about that. I read that article. But to me, it's real simple. we got to learn how to play real well without the puck. we got to learn to rely. Uh, you have great legs, unbelievable legs, as good as anybody in the league. We don't want to rely on them on every play. We want to use the other assets we have more but to me he's just a young player growing into the game and so we got to continue to help him grow and get better defensively so he spends more time on offense. How do you think your skills as an educator in your young life translated to your skills as a coach with young players? Well I think this is I think coaching's teaching that's what I really believe that and so obviously you know I don't know what part you learned you know from your mom your dad your you're going to college. I don't know which part. You guys don't know that either. I just know this is who I am. I'm trying to get better each and every day. We got a lot of work to do here. I understand that. Rich Blues not the biggest guy, obviously. What do you see his uh, role in the organization at this point? Well, he's a great man. That's what I see is a guy who struggled off the ice and now is his life totally cleaned up. So he's a very important person in our organization that way. Uh, plus, he, he gives other guys courage. He's on the four check hard. He'll play hard tonight. How close would you say this group is? Like you have a ceiling you want them to get to. How much have you accomplished in terms of getting them towards that ceiling? Well, I don't know. We, we try to get better each and every day. Like you guys want me to tell you something? I got nothing to tell you except we're trying to get better each and every day. I have no idea what, where the top of this group is yet.